I bought a motorbike. So this is my bike, a Suzuki V-Strom 650 XT. I am absolutely in love with it. It's quite a, uh, quite a, quite a it, well it's an adventure style bike, it's not a sporty bike, it's my first bike I've ever owned, so I didn't want to go too mad. But it is a 650, so it has a good amount of power on it. Uh, I've got the storage on the back here, uh, that's a 55 litre uh, a case so I can put loads of goodies in there. Um, I've then mounted a sat nav thing on here as well, gone for it in black. I've got the protector bars here on the side which have actually come in handy because I have actually dropped this already. Um, it, I've got to say it wasn't completely my fault. My girlfriend was on the back at the time She's only small, it was kind of an off-roady sort of situation we are in. Ended up coming to a stop and actually just dropped it, which as you'll see, we've got some damage there, but it's quite easy to repair. A little bit of damage there as well. But they did their job, which is a good thing. So um, there is that, which I'm happy with. Um, great, I would say little bike, but it's not a little bike. It's a medium-sized bike, but good fun. I've got a touring screen on it as well here which deflects the air over me quite nicely um, so let's take it for a spin let me grab my gloves which I'd put on the back here to cover up my number plate I don't know why people do that I think um, there's a reason for it so I thought I might as well do it as well but it is an absolutely lovely sunny evening it's Sunday it's about six o'clock. I mean look at the view out there. Look at those horses. I don't know if they're coming up on the cam. They should be. Oh, there's one up there. A couple over there in the field. Uh, it's just a push start. Very easy in that sense. And let's go for a little spin in the um, in the countryside. I'm also keen to work out how this audio comes through. Um, I don't know how much bike noise you're going to get. Um, I'm hoping that the my speaking comes through okay. I've got a little microphone in the um, in the helmet itself, so um, should come through okay. This is actually quite a nice part of the country. We're in the Kent countryside in England, where I live. Um, I'll close this. So that might help with wind and stuff. But they call uh, they call Kent the Garden of Eden, uh, Garden of England, which um, uh, is is nice. Uh, I spent a lot of time in my life here. Went to school down this way, well a bit further down to the coast. Um, and obviously makes a change from living in London. Well, it's about eight years. Came down here about a year and a half ago. So. The reason I got a bike, um, and also the reason why I've not uploaded a video for a little while, uh, they are kind of linked, is because I had quite a lot of stuff going on with work, and uh, we ended up having redundancies at work, and I've always had a company car, so because um, I was going to be without my company car, I thought, okay, well, what, what should I do for getting around? I'd always wanted a bike, never had one. Um, and just thought hey look now's the time to do it so i went and got my license um, and bought myself a bike um, and it is brilliant though there are a couple of misconceptions when i did it originally there were a couple of reasons but firstly i thought it would be uh, cheaper than buying a, a car um, that's probably not true uh, just because, well I did buy the bike new so I could have done it cheaper 
but it's all the other things uh, that come with buying a bike which really do bump up the cost because you've got to buy obviously your helmet or your gear uh, you've got to do your training as well uh, and motorcycle gear is is pretty expensive I've actually bought myself a new jacket this jacket I'm wearing I've bought new today just because it's been so hot out um, that my leather jacket was just ridiculous so um, I mean it will last me a while but again it's it's getting these things you can't just wear a normal jacket you need to have your armor in there you need to have the abrasion resistance uh, where should we go let's go down here um, so financially it's not that great uh, it's still good I mean you know I haven't paid for parking when I've been in London, haven't paid for congestion charge when I've been in London and the fuel economy is, I think I'm getting about 68 miles to the gallon at the moment uh, which is obviously great um, but it's not a, I think the financial savings come a little bit further down the line maybe I say that though a lot of people tell me look at this lovely bridge here, this is East Farley a lot of people tell me and I, and I agree with it as well that there's very few people who I'm happy with just one bike and even though I've got a bike that I'm very happy with just enjoy this the canal boats down there oh, isn't it lovely little swans down there I don't know if you can see the swans see if I can get them in shot just down there by the boat someone's feeding them are they feeding them I don't know look like they were um, yeah I very much agree with the concept that one bike is never going to be enough um, I think I want to get a cruiser uh, I never fancied a sports bike however since getting a bike I have started thinking that a sports bike could be quite a bit of fun as well uh, we're just waiting for the train here to go past um, so uh, so yeah financially I, I, I don't know if getting into bikes is a good thing or a bad thing um, one thing that is truly incredible though especially if you're living in London or in the South East or you're commuting into London or you're in just a high traffic area in general the amount of time you save on a bike is just ridiculous uh, and that's not through riding fast that's just through being able to filter through traffic to be able to get to the head of the queue uh, when you're at traffic lights I mean I had a journey a few weeks ago in my car um, which uh, I, I repeated the journey on my bike same time of day it was in rush hour in the car it took me three hours on the bike it took me one hour 15 minutes and that wasn't breaking any speed limits that was just the fact that I was not held up in traffic I mean and yeah, that's pretty much the same every day for London people people that know London know that if you're getting if you're traveling in and out which is what I have to do with regards to work oh I have uh, managed to find some more work uh, following my redundancy um, you know you've got to you've got to get in and out and, and and travel around and it just it's just a nightmare for doing it whereas on the bike it's just it's just easy I mean traffic can add maybe you know five minute to a journey time that takes an hour um, you know at, at a pretty much a maximum because it's only every now and again you've got to stop for a wait, wait for a bit um, so extremely good in that sense and then obviously there's the other great thing about being on a bike is oh, got a bit faster is um, um, obviously it's fun I mean it really really is um, you take any other uh, you, well, you take driving I mean and I've driven a lot so I drove probably 30,000 miles a year for the last 12 years let's say um, and don't get me wrong driving drives okay I like driving um, but it's no way near as enjoyable as when you're on a bike uh, and that's not through going quick for example I'm enjoying this ride just here just cruising um, there's just something about it which just feels great um, so I should go I think we'll go left here explore a bit more of the English countryside 
So another thing that's great about the biking, it seems, I mean, you ride around in the countryside, and I don't know if we'll go past any other bikers here at the moment, but uh, bikers all give each other a nice little nod. I mean, that's nice. You feel like part of a little biking community, a little sign of, hey, yeah, we're on bikes. That, that's how the nod goes, by the way. Bit of a shake like that. Um, hey, great, we're on bikes. Isn't it amazing? Life is good. Let me show you some of the speed on this. I mean, look how quick that topped up to 60. I mean, it's just bloody amazing. I mean, that was from a um, uh, from a rolling start. We were doing 40 before then, but I'm telling you, the 0 to 60 on this is not a sports bike, but it's 3.5 seconds. You know, I mean, that's just incredible. got to make sure I'm very um, sensible with myself obviously I'm, a, I'm an older gentleman I'm not I'm not in my 20s anymore I I feel I can be mostly responsible however I'm still a man and you know there are gonna be times oh dropping down back to 40 um, gonna be times when obviously there's, there's the temptation to go a bit quick um, so, so yeah, the, the, the V-Strom, the reason I went with this um, over other bikes was because I'm going to be, uh, well, because I am riding in and out of London, I wanted something which was quite, um, I wanted to be seen upright, I didn't want it to be hunched over. Um, I wanted something which could handle the motorways. Uh, by the way, that, that, that was something I was really, I couldn't get an answer on about the V-Strom, so if you're looking at getting one, I can tell you that on the motorway, this is absolutely fine um, it will quite comfortably sit around motorway um, uh, cruising speeds you know you, let's just say hypothetically 70 to 85 it is very comfortable um, I weigh about what do I weigh uh, 86 kilos uh, I'm uh, six foot tall and this bike is just perfect for my size another lovely little bridge this is the River Medway we're going over. Oh, see the little canoeist down there. Um, so yeah, good bike, enough power. Um, it's not a sports bike, so it hasn't got the uh, uh, you know insurance that comes with that. Um, and as in the insurance premium. And uh, I mean, I do really like cruisers. I want to get a cruiser one day. Um, however my concern with a cruiser was getting that in and out of traffic uh, would be a problem um, and uh, the, the only other thought really was would a 650 be enough a lot of people are telling me that I need to get a uh, which I should go, I should go right a lot of people are telling me I'd get bored of the 650 and I should go with a thousand to start off with but for me it was purely an insurance question uh, insurance on the 650 was um, a thousand pounds less than insurance on the thousand which is, is quite ridiculous so yeah this is my life biking um, I'm, I'm hoping the audio comes through good um, what I'll do is I'll, I'll keep on riding get some more more nice shots maybe cut it together with a little bit of music um, thanks for watching I think um, uh, for the uh, for the channel there probably will be more biking videos, but it's not going to be a biking channel um, I'll probably more just have a few bits of biking stuff When I am uh, Heading somewhere to do a review of a tasty burger or something like that. Oh, look how beautiful this country is. Look at it This is what I love about the UK. This is what I love about Kent in particular. I mean, it's just Wonderful um, I like, I, I do a lot of camping, which I haven't, I haven't done any videos of camping. I'll probably do some camping videos at some point because I really do like being out in the woods and and amongst the trees. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the sun. I hope you're enjoying the World Cup. It is coming home. That is guaranteed. Um, and I'll catch you the next one. Cheers. Bye.